Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the first of five different makeup tutorials going up this week using the new Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette and today is going to be the time tutorial. So starting off, we're going to prime our eyes and today I was using a MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly and my Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush and I'm just going to blend that into the skin and this is a great shade that just most closely resembles my skin tone so I was just starting off with a clean base. So the first shade in the palette that we're going to use to set that primer we just went in with and help make all our eyeshadows blend together better, we're going to be using the shade Looking Glass, which is just a really nice light peach color, and I'm using a Sigma E60 large shader brush and just fluffing that all over the lid. And then as our transition shade, I'm going in with that peach shade in the palette, which is called Reflection, and a fluffy Sigma, or excuse me, Morphe M441 brush, and just fluffing that into the crease and blending it out in windshield wiper motions. And then I do flick it out just a little bit more on the right side to give it a little bit more depth. And then going in with the two big shades that we're going to be using for the crease, we're going to be using the purple shade called Gone Mad, and then the really dark gray shade called Time. I'm first going in with Time and really buffing that into the crease with my Stigma E45 small tapered blending brush and creating that V shape in the outer crease and then once um, most of that shadow is already on the lid I will bring it in about three quarters of the way into my eyelid and then I will be going in with that purple shade Gone Mad and just blending those two colors together that give it a really nice kind of smoky purpley gray look to it. And what's great when you use tape like I am right now, you can go ham and blend all that out and you don't have to worry because you're going to have this really sharp, nice edge once you take that tape off. So now I'm going in with some Too Faced Glitter Glue because the shade we're going to use Dream On in the palette is a little bit weaker um, when you swatch it, but then it performs so much better when you use kind of a tacky formula with it. So I'm going to put down that glitter glue first with my finger and then blend it out ever so slightly with that Zoeva brush and then going in with my finger with the shade dream on which is that purple sparkly shade in the palette in the time column I'm gonna be packing that on the lid and once I have a nice base layer then I will be going in with a morphe brush this is a flat shader brush this is the s30 and once you already kind of went in with that first layer now you can pack it on top it does best if you pack it and just kind of tap it on top and blend out in just tiny little strokes otherwise it just doesn't move that much so it's better to just pat it on the eyelid and now I'm going back in with a tiny little dome brush which is a Morphe M321 and really smoking out that little bit of the crease on the far right side and then going in with a fluffy brush again from Morphe this is the M441 I'm taking that shade mirror and just blending out all that smoky color so that we have a really nice clean um, look to our eye and it doesn't have any harsh lines it just kind of all blends together and looks really purpley and gray and smoky and really really pretty and so then going in with my favorite gel eyeliner at the moment, which is my L'Oreal Infallible um, Eyeliner in the shade Black is Black. I'm going in with my Morphe M409 brush, which is just a really small angled brush I like to use when I do winged eyeliner. And you can see how I'm doing the winged eyeliner right here. But if you want more specifics on how to specifically do a winged eyeliner, I do have a separate video on that that I will link down below. It is kind of old. It was like from months ago, but it's still a good one. I still use the same techniques in that video as well. So you can definitely watch that if you want like a step-by-step -step on how I do the winged eyeliner. Now for highlighting, I'm going to be using the shade Royal Flush, which is a really pretty sparkly cream color. And I'm going to be taking this Zoeva Precise Shader Brush, the number 238, and putting that on the inner corner of my eye to bring some life and brightness to the inner corner of the eye. And then I'm also going to be using it to highlight underneath the brow bone. And it just gives a really nice pop of color since we're doing a very smoky eye. It gives you some life and brightness to the eye, and I love it. And then going underneath the lower lash line, I'm going to be using this Precise Matte. 219 brush um i'm going to be using that purple shade we went in the crease with earlier the gone mad shade and i'm going to be smoking out that lower lash line and just bringing the look all together with the purple on top and bringing the purple down on the bottom as well and then as mascara for one coat to prime my eyes for the false eyelashes we're we'll going in with this is the covergirl super sizer mascara i love this because it's perfect for combing out your eyelashes and really lengthening them and then i went in with some ardell wispies for my false eyelashes that are just really pretty and natural and then I'm going in with this makeup geek eyeliner in the black shade and I'm just going to smoke out the waterline as well and make it a little bit more smoky and then going back in with that covergirl mascara on the lower lash line all 
right guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial using most of the shades in the time column of this palette. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all my upcoming videos and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!